Hello everybody and welcome back for another exciting WWE Supercard Season 5 video. My name is Noology and that is... Neology. And she hasn't been on my videos much lately but uh, she's back here today and... Taking uh, care of this little Nology. Yeah. Nology. We got a really awesome video in store for you guys and gals. We are going to be claiming the Cataclysm Kevin Owens card from the Team Ring Domination. Along with that, we have a Grand Challenge Reward Pack to open up and guys, we have a giant platinum league pack to open up from the league points store we're gonna see if we can score a cataclysm card mm -hmm. from that that would be pretty awesome if that happens but before we get into doing the stuff of course if you are new around here and you enjoy daily super card videos make sure you click that subscribe button because we post daily super card content here on the channel such as tips and tricks pack openings challenges you name it everything super card you know i keep you guys up to date with the latest and greatest super card news and uh, if you don't want to miss out on that stuff make sure you also turn really on, on my finger. is she oh yeah she is make sure you also turn on the post notification bell and if you guys could do me another big favor drop a thumbs up on the video that would help me out a lot and uh yeah that's all i have to say for now so uh let's dive into the super card action all right guys so let's start this video off by claiming the cataclysm kevin owens this will officially make my third Cataclysm card, which I'm quite excited for, and I'm really glad that Kevin Owens was the team event card this time because uh, ever since I seen this, I was quite happy with the uh, updated image, you know, with the new tattoos and stuff like that. So he's I'm very rugged. Yeah, I like how Kevin Owens looks, and I really am a fan of those new tattoos. And uh, this is, of course, you know, his newest image uh, for Super Cards, so that's pretty cool. And uh, it's definitely going to look good on some other Kevin Owens cards as well. Uh, so yeah, let's get into claiming this and uh, let's get our third Cataclysm card. So I can't currently finger snap because I have Nala just sleeping here on my uh, chest. So uh, yeah, we're just going to get into opening this. So here we go, guys. Alright, and there's Kevin Owens. Pretty freaking sweet, if I do say so myself. Let me know, of course, how far your team made it in this team event so far down in the comment section below. Did you guys get Kevin Owens? Did you guys get the WrestleMania 35 card or any of the other cards? I would love to hear from each and every one of you down below. Uh, but anyways, guys, let's take a look and see how the team did so far. And a uh, part of my girlfriend, she really didn't get a chance to play this because we've been driving around literally like all day yesterday. So mm -hmm. uh, she didn't get a chance to actually play this. We went to like four different cities. Yeah, we went to like two different targets. We went to my parents' house. We, we went to like two different GameStop. Three. No, three different GameStops actually. So, uh, yeah, we did a lot of traveling, and the reason why we went to GameStop is because we actually picked up a brand new video game, which I will show you guys in just a little bit. Um, but first, let's get into looking at the team point breakdown here. So, uh, Big Jim Gene here in first with 22 shards so far. Congrats, man, on that. Prime Time with 16, me with 13 currently, Jason with 13, Ambrose with 12, Roy with 10, Daniel with 9, Kirby with 4, RJ with 3, and my girlfriend with 0 just because, like I said, she's been driving around like crazy. Whoops. Yeah, we literally just got home. Yeah. Uh, by the time you guys see this, though, it's going to be, you know, later, obviously. But, uh, yeah, a lot of traveling we did yesterday. Uh, but anyways, guys, with that being done and out of the way now, let's move into opening up my Grand Challenge Reward Pack now. Okay. Woo and, uh, yeah, let's see if we could score a WrestleMania 35 card from this. Um, you know, that'd be pretty cool. Hopefully a female bro. Hopefully a female pro because, you know, one superstar gothic to WrestleMania 35 and, of course, one male uh, gothic to WrestleMania 35. But we're we're hoping for a female here and a pro would be really nice because I have been trying to hit Cataclysm tier for a little bit now and uh, I need better females to put me there. So let's hope that happens. I can't believe your dad has four pros. Yeah, guys, my dad has been having insane luck. I'm going to have to show you guys sometime. He literally has like four Cataclysm pros or maybe even five. I forget. He has quite a few. He's already Cataclysm plus plus. So my dad is very lucky. He's been getting really lucky with his pulls lately from like the Grand Challenge Reward Packs, you know, the events, the Platinum Packs, uh, so, you know, stuff like that. So uh, he's just, he's, he's, he's a legend at this game. He's a legend at this game, like seriously. Um, but you he's know, like, he doesn't play any other games besides Super Cards, so it's he's like... He's the Super Card Slayer. He's the Super Card Slayer, yeah. Seth Rollins is the Beat Slayer, my dad is the Super Card Slayer. Alright, but anyways guys, once again, I cannot finger snap because I have the cat, you know, just chilling here. I could try. Yeah, if you want to finger snap for me. Wait, let me... Let's give this some pizzazz, shall we? Okay. Alright guys, my Ready? girlfriend's gonna attempt. She's not very good at finger snapping, so... Alright guys, here we go. Let's see what we get in three, three two, two, one! That was a weak finger snap. Ooh! I can't finger snap! I see a WrestleMania 35 card there. I see two gothic cards there. Two gothic? Oh yeah, two gothics and one neon. 
Do you think that's going to be an enhancement? Probably. Probably. That's just the way my luck goes. But anyways, we get Shinsuke up first. We get a Neon Speed. For the WrestleMania 35, please be a superstar. No! Ah! Why do they do this? You know, they just trolled me recently with my stupid Domination Quest Pack. If you guys didn't see yesterday's video, go ahead and check it out. They freaking give me or gave me a Cataclysm Enhancement. At first, I thought it was a Superstar. I'm like, yes, that's awesome, you know, because I don't usually have luck with the Quest Packs. So, uh, you know, I was thinking this time, hey, I actually scored something good here. And then once we got to it, it was a stupid Cataclysm Enhancement. I was like, I'm done. Like, I don't even know anymore. Like, this is what my life has come down to. Uh, but anyways, guys, that was bad. And for the final gothic card, we get Cesaro. Why do they have to give me two stupid gothic superstars? Nobody cares about that. Alright, but anyways, guys, with that being done and out of the way now, we do have a King of the Ring going, but I don't have much hope for that because I always forget about the King of the Rings. I literally just started another one, though, just to get the one challenge completed where you have to use an energy card in the King of the Ring. Uh, but anyways, guys, what I want to get into next here is I want to open up my League Point Pack or Giant Platinum League Pack, and uh, we are going to see if we could score a Cataclysm card from this. Highly doubt I it. I will... I will dump this slushy on my head if you do. I thought you were gonna say you're gonna dump it on my head. I'm like, oh god. I'm like, now they'll give me a cataclysm card. No, I will dump <laughs> it on my own head if you get a cataclysm card from this. Uh, well, uh, don't get your hopes up, guys, because they don't give me crap. Or, well, I mean, they do give me crap literally, but uh, they don't give me anything good from these stupid giant platinum league packs. So I'm gonna say I'm probably gonna get all neon cards here. That's usually how it goes for me. I am not ex. Maybe they'll be nice and throw me a shattered card. I don't know. Maybe even a WrestleMania 35. Who knows? But my luck with these packs have been bad in the past. For I'm those... going to have to dump this over my head, I think. You think so? For those that have been watching me, you know, for a while now and seen me open a bunch of these, I never get anything good from the stupid Giant Platinum League packs. So I'm really not expecting to get anything good here today either. But we are going to find Ready? out. I'll try again. I'm calling Neon City here. I think it's going to be all Neons, but we'll see. Here we go, guys. Come on. Let's see if we get a better finger snap okay, this ready? time. Here we ready? go in three, two, one. Oh, that was a little bit better. Oh, look at this. Looks like all Neon City. And oh, guess who we got, guys? You guys see who that is? He's here to show the world. He's here to show the world. Come on. Bring it on. And I thought that was bull crap what they did to Dolph at Stomping Grounds. Like, that was stupid. Ooh, sorry. I almost knocked your slushy out of your hand. Um, but it was stupid, guys. He was literally about to escape the cage. And then Kofi just gets up out of nowhere and just comes and dashes through the ropes and freaking retains his championship. I was hoping for Dolph Ziggler to actually win that because personally, I think Dolph deserves it. He's a veteran around here. So is Kofi, of course, in his own right. But I think that Dolph deserves, you know, another championship run. Not a stupid mid-card championship run either, like, you know, the world title. I would love to see him win that. So uh, I was quite disappointed when he lost. And I'm not, like, the biggest fan of Kofi Kingston either. So that kind of plays into it a little bit too. Uh, but anyways, guys, we get Dolph there at first. Yep, all Neon City, I called it. What'd I tell you? Sorry, guys, the slushy's not going over my head. Nope, not today anyways. But anyways, Neon Jimmy Uso, Neon Apollo Crews. Neon Grand Metallic and a Neon Elias. So that was just absolutely horrible. I'm disappointed, but I expected that already. Uh, but anyways, guys, now for the game I was talking about. I'm actually going to go grab it really quick because it's actually over on the kitchen table. So I'm going to let Renee take over for, uh, for one second. Where and I'll be right back. Doing? Just talk. Just talk to him. Hi. How's your day? Hopefully everyone's going great. We got a collectible Buzz and Woody today. So that was cool. And a Sporky. I mean Forky. <laughs> um, yeah, we drove all over. Got myself the slushy. And There's I'm back. All right, guys. So the game, speaking of Toy Story, yes, we did get uh, collectible Woody today. We got a Buzz Lightyear, which is cool. Uh, Jesse I already had and stuff like that. Uh, we got Forky as well. I'm a big Toy Story fan, just to throw that out there. And by the way, we did see Toy Story 4. It was a great movie. Uh, was it a necessary movie? I don't think so. But it was definitely, you know, a great one still. And the way it ended was definitely sad. So if you didn't see Toy I Story cried. 4 yet, My eyes out. I'm not going to spoil it. But go see Toy Story 4 because it was quite awesome. Uh, but anyways, guys, speaking of Toy Story. Actually, let me go full screen here a moment. So you guys can see this better. Full screen cam. Okay, so here we go, guys. Toy Story freaking 3. This is what we picked up. It is an old game. This is from like 2010. 
it is very old and look at how much we paid for this yes this game still runs and i bet you they freaking jacked the price up on this just because toy story 4 came out so they knew people was going to be looking for this uh you know especially people like me that are big toy story fanatics you know but freaking i paid yeah, I think they put a sticker over a sticker probably i'm gonna have to see what the other sticker says but literally guys now. i paid almost 30 dollars for toy story 3 and it's an xbox 360 game this game's like nine years old by now it's so old i couldn't believe it was almost 30 bucks i thought maybe we would be paying like 15 dollars but no, the freaking price of this thing was $30, so I was like, this is, this is ridiculous. But, you know, me loving Toy Story like I do, I'm like, I have to pick this game up, and, uh, you know, I want to play through it and stuff, because my cousin used to play this with me a lot. Like, he used to have the game, I used to go over his house, and we used to play Toy Story no, 3. No, it's not a sticker over a sticker. No? They must have took the old sticker off. Maybe. I don't think this game was $30, though, before. I literally oh, think... Wait. They just jacked the price up on it just oh, because. No, that's just their little... But let's show them the back really quick. So this is it, guys. Have any of you guys ever played this game? Like, I cannot wait to dive into this and play this again. Because like I said, I used to play this with my cousin. So it was a lot of fun. Good times, good memories. But anyways, guys, that's all we have for this video. I do want to thank you, of course, so much for watching. Remember if you did go on to <laughs> She's enjoy. She's fighting me. Is she? Remember if you did go on to enjoy the video too, thumbs it up, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here, of course, for more daily super card videos coming, and also more gift card giveaways coming too. And Hopefully cuddly more cuddly kittens. Yeah, and cuddly kittens as well. Hopefully more gift card giveaways will be coming here to the channel soon. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks so much for everything. Love you all. Catch you later, and of course, peace.